Dave Van Ronk's version of this song is probably the best known, although it's a, an old song going back at least to the 30s. And he plays it at a very sedate tempo, almost resigned, you might say, very much in keeping with the character of the song. And I think it takes a particular kind of courage or concentration to play that slowly, since any mistakes you make are going to last that bit longer. It's not a difficult song, but it does need a bit of care. There are just a handful of chords and a very standard picking pattern. We've got the capo on the second fret, so we're playing as if we were in C, but in fact, we're in the key of D. So we, in the first line, we have two bars of C, a bar of F, and a bar of C. Hang me, oh, hang me, I'll be dead and gone. And if you're not fond of bar chords, you might try this. Here's a C chord, and if I move my second finger up to the third string and tuck my little finger in behind, then I might do that once I've wrapped my thumb round onto the first fret. That's going to give me an F. I'm going to avoid playing the top string. But that would be, hang me, oh, hang me, I'll be dead and gone. And that's a way you often see bar chords or what would be bar chords formed. The second line's exactly the same, except we go to an A minor in the second bar. Hang me, oh hang me, I'll be dead and gone. The third line is a bar of C and a bar of A minor and another bar of C and another bar of A minor. Wouldn't mind the hanging for the laying in the grave so long, oh boy. Now we have this slightly odd half a bar each of A flat and G. And I'm going to play that as an E type bar chord on the fourth fret. Been all around. Moving down to the third fret for G. This world and then two bars of C. Of course, the alternative shape that we just looked at for F, you could play that for A flat and G. I find that a bit more tricky, so I'm just going to play a bar chord there. So the whole thing, Hang me, oh hang me, I'll be dead and gone. Hang me, oh hang me, I'll be dead and gone. Wouldn't mind the hanging, but the laying in the grave so long, boy, boy, be all around this world and if you notice on the C and A minor chords I'm alternating the bass from the fifth string down to the sixth string in the case of the C chord I need to then move my third finger from the third fret of the fifth string to the third fret of the sixth string although you'll see some people forming a C like this with a finger already in position. So here I've got my third finger on the bottom string and my little finger up on the fifth string. I don't normally play it this way. It just means that if you're going to play alternating bass on a C chord, you don't need to move anything in the left hand. I generally prefer to play it this way. And then for the A minor chord, well, it's just alternating from the open fifth to the open sixth. When we look at the finger picking pattern, we'll see how that alternating bass comes into good use. So the picking pattern is a very standard Travis pattern. We have, for instance, for a C chord, the thumb on the fifth string, second finger on the second string. Then we come inside to play the thumb on the fourth string, and my first finger is on the third string. Hang me, oh hang me. For an F chord, I'm going to move it down here. I'll be dead and gone. That kind of a thing. We're also going to introduce alternating bass, though, as we saw with the strummed version a moment ago. So I'm going to get this. I'll do that on the C and the A. Hang me, oh hang me. I'll be dead and gone. Hang me, oh hang me, I'll be dead and gone, that kind of a thing. But in fact, well, what he does is he just plays the bass note on the first beat without coming up to the second string, so we just get this. Hang 
Hang me, oh hang me I'll be dead and gone And the first time he plays he actually plays a note on the top string as well so <laughs> note for note we get this Hang me, oh hang me I'll be dead and gone Hang me, oh hang me I'll be dead and gone Wouldn't mind the hanging At the laying in the grave so long, poor boy Now when we get to the A flat and G, he does this I've been all Plays just the bass note and then picks the fourth, third and second strings together I'm using my three fingers You could use your thumb and the first two fingers All And then around us just our standard pattern world from the top then and all around Cape Giardo in parts of Arkansas all around Cape Giardo in parts of Arkansas got so goddamn hungry I could hide behind a straw boy boy I've been all around this world When up on the mountain There I made my stand When up on the mountain There I made my stand Rifle on my shoulder Dagger in my hand Poor oh boy, I've been All around this world Hang me, oh hang me I'll be dead and gone Hang me, oh hang me I'll be dead and gone wouldn't mind the hanging But the laying in the grave so long Poor oh boy, been all around this world And that's it.